Right now we are just a little more than 24 hours out from the polls closing on Election Day in Georgia. The race for governor and U.S. Senate are top of mind for so many and most of the candidates in the statewide elections traveled across the state today in one final push for your vote. Here's a look at where they stopped going from Metro Atlanta to Central and South Georgia as well. And while Governor Brian Kemp and U.S. Senate candidate Herschel Walker are both in Cobb County this evening, they are not together. 11 Alive's Doug Richards joins us now, walking us through what both are doing to drum up some final support. Doug? Yes, there are two events here going on in Cobb County, adjacent to McCollum Airfield. Governor Kemp is in this hangar uh, shortly when he gets here. And about a mile away, across the runway, uh, Herschel Walker, the U.S. Senate candidate, a Republican, is holding his final event. The two men are allies. They're both Republicans. They've kept their distance from each other during the campaign, and one could reasonably ask why they wouldn't hold one final event together. When Governor Brian Kemp entered the facility at DeKalb Peachtree Airport earlier today, a half dozen other Republicans on the ballot were with him. We're so excited to be with the whole statewide ticket uh, on this fly around today. But missing from the event was the Republican candidate for U.S. Senate. Herschel Walker, the football star recruited by former President Donald Trump, campaigned separately from Kemp during the entire campaign season. Even when Kemp flew around the state today with Republican candidates in tow, Walker was not among them. With well-documented personal issues dogging his campaign, Walker has struggled in pre-election polls, unlike Kemp in his battle with Democrat Stacey Abrams in the governor's race. Herschel was invited to our event. Kemp told reporters the issue separating him from Walker today was one of mere scheduling. But he had a prior scheduled event. So, I mean, I don't think people should read anything to that. You know, we're dividing and conquering. Walker's event starts uh, about an hour from now across the runway from here at McCollum Field. Uh, Raphael Warnock, the Democrat running for U.S. Senate, stumped in Columbus and Macon today. And Democrat Stacey Abrams, who is running against Governor Kemp, uh, has a virtual get out the vote event this evening. Live in Kennesaw, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News. All right, Doug, thank you very much. And last week we did have a chance to speak one on one with Stacey Abrams. She told us she wasn't putting too much stock into recent polls showing Governor Kemp edging her out. Polls are a snapshot. The question is, who are they taking a picture of? And I'm looking at the polls that are happening right now at the polling place. We are seeing record turnout from the communities that are being discounted in most of these polls. Right now, Senator Reverend Raphael Warnock is getting ready to speak to a crowd in Columbus, Georgia. His final stop tonight after traveling to Macon. Warnock had strong support in Muskogee and Bibb counties in the 2020 election, easily winning both by a large margin.